these are eBay boxes. The boxes that I use to ship hats in are the eight by six by four. I bought them with my store coupon. Uh, $50 store coupon gets me about 50 boxes. It's actually like 47 bucks with some change and some tax added to it. Uh, so I ended up having to pay like four bucks for the tax on it. But this is what I ship my hats in, guys. All right, guys, so I got a microphone. I know that in the last couple of years over me doing my videos, the microphone quality has not been the best unless I'm standing behind the camera, pointing the camera at an item. This camera or this, um, this microphone's not like the best or whatever. It's like uh, some $20 thing I got off Amazon with a couple of different attachments. So um, let me know, guys, if the audio is any better. Um, this will have to do until I get like a road mic or whatever, but I didn't want to get one of those until I got a new camera because this GoPro is starting to give me a lot of problems, uh, over the last couple of months. So probably going to be getting a new camera. So if you guys wonder why I got this stupid microphone on my hat, that's why I don't like it attached to my neck. It's pretty uncomfortable. It itches me and it irritates things. But anyway, welcome to the video guys. We got like 20 items going out today. Let's see what we got going out. So we got 20 items for $414. Not the greatest, but hey, it could be a lot worse. So hopefully you guys are doing well. If you guys ain't used your eBay store coupon, yes, you have to have a store subscription in order to use it. I suggest you go ahead and start using that right now. Get you guys some free shipping supplies. That way you can start. Um, I don't know. For me, it's just different, man. If I don't have hat boxes, I got to use these priority mailboxes. And if I don't have bags big enough to fit them in, I got to cut open other bags. I got to cut open these bags and then wrap the box like a Christmas present. And then I got to use two of those bags in order to do that. That ain't what I'm trying to do, man. You guys know me. I'm all about eliminating steps instead of adding steps to the process. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some of these items, show you guys what I got going up. Okay, guys. Big shout out to everyone that's donated to the trip fund. Uh, for the trip to South Carolina. Now, I want to let this be known. Uh, the There's been comments about how uh, I need help to get to this trip or uh, it's not it's not uh, it's not out of the continent like the last trip was. The thing is, guys, is this fundraiser is not so you guys can pay for the trip for me. The fundraiser is for Christians, people that want to take part in leading other people to Jesus. That's what the fundraiser is for. If you guys don't donate to it, God will provide the money for it. Whether you guys do or someone else does or whether I fund the bill my whole, my whole for the trip myself, either way it goes, I'll, I'll go on this trip. So if you guys are Christians, if you want to take place in leading other people to Jesus, that's what the fundraiser is for. There's a link down below in the description. Big shout out to everybody that's donated so far. You guys are the best. Um, I just want to preface that, man, because I feel like, um, well, I don't feel like it. There's comments that have been made about how um, I'm just out here asking for money for this trip. That's not the case, guys. Uh, I'm a Christian man just trying to do God's work and giving you guys a chance to participate in it as well. I didn't even set the link up. The, the church that I go to set the link up. As you can see right here, Discover Life Church. That's the church I go to. They set the link up. This is all legit on the level. You know, just giving you guys a chance to help out. A uh, couple of things on the agenda today. I got to print off some more of these custom SKUs. If you guys don't know how to do that, stick around. I'll show you guys how that's done. Uh, then also, there was a person that messaged me yesterday on Instagram about the workbook that I use. I couldn't find the video that she was looking for, so I'm just going to walk through briefly about the workbook that I use because tax time is like legit around the corner you guys got what four days to get your taxes done so uh i'm gonna go over that too show you guys uh some information about that and then while i'm picking these items showing you guys what sold i'm gonna get nitty gritty real and raw with you guys about um what i feel in my business at least where it's going and um what what my plans for the future are a lot of you guys already know this but i'm gonna just be open with you guys about the way youtube is and how it the perception can put it out there to a point where people are, are believing a lie and I'm just not going to be one of those guys that's out here feeding you a lie.
All right, guys, got a few items right here that I want to go ahead and show you guys. Now, uh, some of these are going to be bad sales. And I know that I just said in the last video to not accept an item that's not profitable uh, or an item that's not going to go. I know I said in the last video that $3 is my break even price. Uh, this item right here is a Vans Boys t shirt. Probably would never sell if I didn't go ahead and sell it. Well, it's actually a men's. Men's small. So for two bucks. Hey, it's my sister. I love you too, sister. I don't get to talk to my sister all that much. She lives in Kansas City, so anytime she messages me, it's pretty awesome. Men's small. That's over two bucks plus shipping. Uh, it's better that I sell it than to take it out of the package and go donate it. This is vintage earth tone shirt boys extra large so for 15 bucks single stitch t we got these levi's 505 men's 38 32 those were on sale for 17 bucks someone offered me 15 for them i took it we got this abercrombie and fitch men's hoodie no that's a boys hoodie as well I had this listed for it was on sale for 14 dollars. somebody offered me 10 bucks for it so i took that vintage dockers these are like just pleated pants made in the usa uh so for a best offer of 1260 uh that's a men's 34 34 and i got this gap pearl snap shirt men's large so for seven dollars so not really great sales with the gap not with the dockers not with the vans t-shirt um interspersed in between there's an okay sell of 15 dollars for the levi's and $15 for this vintage t-shirt, but that's what I want to get into the topic of today's video being you see a lot of people on YouTube See a lot of people selling all these really expensive items, you know, uh, I'll use K&M resale as a, as an example They have killer sales. They do really really great. They also live in a gigantic city of Dallas They also pick up some of everything so like not some of everything everything but like within the clothing category Lucchese boots that's not something I'm going to find here. Nonetheless, talking about some four or five in a week to be able to sell. No shade to them. You guys are killing it. Keep doing your thing. But when it's a person like me watching that video, I'm like, man, why can't I find any of that great stuff? Or why don't I have that, those types of options near me? In my town, in my one hour around me radius, I've got like six thrift stores, seven maybe. Uh, and two of them are never worth going to on any given day. Uh, so it, it's tough, right? Cause you got to use what you got around you. That's why I travel to the bins to get most of my items for now over the years, I've gotten decent at picking up items that sell for okay money. But while I was getting the knowledge and acquiring brand knowledge, I picked up a lot of crap like gap pearl snap shirts or super small men's vans tees, not the greatest of items, but the learning experience has taught me a lot about what works and what doesn't work. What should go in my store and what shouldn't go in my store moving forward. You know, I've made I've made the declaration on my channel to where I'm going to be picking up better quality items, steering more away from women's clothing in general, uh, unless it's like women's jeans. Women's jeans still sell pretty decently for me, um, especially if I can get like boot cut or flare leg or just that Y2K style looking denim right now is selling pretty decently for me. So I'm going to keep on buying that. But as far as like. um. As far as like Ann Taylor Loft, women's Old Navy stuff like that, that stuff don't sell good. I don't think that sells good for anybody. Uh, certain stuff like just my size, uh, I sold some of that the other day. I'm not going to be picking that stuff up. Lauren Ralph Lauren even doesn't even sell all that great. You know, you can get items in that brand that sell okay. But for the most part, if it's not like Miss Me or uh, American Eagle still sells okay for me in the women's category. But if it's not like Miss Me, Rock Revival... American Eagle, things with some type of a reputation, I'm probably going to be staying away from it. I texted my sister back in the threads blue and she's like, I see you got an iPhone, LOL. I had to make that switch, I guess. Uh, so I'll have you guys know I already broke the screen, not the screen, but the screen protector. Uh, you can't really see it, but there's a crack right there uh, that spiders across the whole camera or uh, across the whole screen. Uh, I guess it's just not meant for me to have uh, a phone without a cracked screen, but at least it's just the screen protector and I do have insurance on this phone. Your boy's not the greatest with phones, guys, and that's why I've had five in the last two years. So speaking of my sister, guys, she lives in Kansas City. 
uh, we have a birthday three days apart from each other. Mine is on the 13th of July. Hers is on the 16th of July. I'm going up to Kansas City to see my sister. I haven't seen her since she was 12. Uh, she's now 30. So it's been a long time since I've seen her. Um, while I'm up there, I want to do some thrifting. So if you guys in Kansas City know a good spot to get some good stuff at, let me know. I'll probably hit the bins up. Uh, but it's really not r really a, like a, a thrifting trip. As much as it's a trip to go see my sister, <laughs> I'm going to hit the bins up to write off as a as a business expense. But uh, yeah, I know some people frown on that. But at the end of the day, that's the beautiful part about being a reseller is you can write off almost anything when it comes to travel as a business expense, uh, simply just thrifting. So we're just a couple of weeks away from making it public to uh, the members of the Patreon only uh, the website for checking items and sell through so literally what you'll be able to do is just get on there type in levi's 501 3830 check the sell through on that particular item all the way down to the color now this is user generated so the more people that use it the bigger the workbook will be the bigger the website will grow uh but this is going to be exclusively to the members of the discord exclusively to the members of the patreon uh for you know at least some time so we're really trying to provide the best value that we can for you guys over here in this uh, Patreon. Um, you got myself, reseller Tom. We're both doing calls. Tom does them two times a week. I do them every morning on the weekdays, uh, seven o'clock, except for Monday. Um, so really, you know, just trying to help you guys grow your business. If you don't want to reach six figures, that's fine. But we really want to help you guys grow your business to the height that you would like it to. Uh, if that seems like something you're into, link down below in the description. Road to six figures the, is the link. You guys can come join the Patreon and check it out. See if it's the right fit for you. All right, guys. Last few items going on on eBay. This is a Washington College, like from the state of Washington. Uh, sweatshirt, Champion Reverse Weave. I did take a best offer of 15 bucks on that. Could have sold for more. This is a Having Fun Racing Tee. I've sold these once before. Um, or Fun Haver is what it's called, actually. Uh, I took a best offer of 9 bucks on that. This is a Menards uh, Hardware Store employee t-shirt the guy messaged me and he's like i've never seen one of these before um but uh he was looking for something about the tm app i guess that's the menards app st louis battlehawks t-shirt i accepted the best offer of 725 on that one these two items are super old cabela's hoodie so for 10 bucks that's a men's small and this old navy tunic so for six bucks that's a women's medium I don't have any orders on Poshmark, uh, but I had some go out yesterday and I've actually been selling on Macari too, but I just don't have any orders to talk about on those platforms today. Vendu link, link down below. You guys can save 25% off your first month on Vendu. I love it. Still killing it for me over there on uh, Vendu. Uh, comes through in the clutch, guys. Definitely makes it easy for me to cross list all my items to Macari and Vendu or uh, Macari and Poshmark. Still ain't getting no love on Depop, but it is what it is. All right, guys, what I'm going to do now is go over this workbook real quick again for you guys. OK, so look, these are last year's numbers, right? So pretty much what I wanted to show you guys again is the average cost of goods calculator, how to use that. Um, Because this is one of the common things people are going to want to know. So you put the items you bought, the date you bought it at, where you bought it at, how many items you bought, what you spent on the items. So as I told you guys in the last video, I bought 13,450 items last year. I paid $21,360 for those items. And I paid an average of $1.59 for those items. And so that's just one of the, the, the things you can do is your average cost of goods calculator. This expenses tab right here tracks every expense for the whole year, all year long. Whether it's contract labor for paying my mom to do laundry, uh, Microsoft subscription for this product right here, which is actually on Excel, 
um, but you can use the free version. You don't have to pay for Excel. Um, inventory purchases all from the Goodwill. Binge trips where I spent and bought food and gas at QT. Uh, just things like that, guys. This tracks all my numbers all year long, all my Amazon expenses, all my eBay fees, uh, anything I spent for YouTube, all that's all on this workbook. Um, then all my totals for all my streams of revenue uh, for the whole year. Also, my mileage for everything that I've done business wise. Uh, and then there's a Poshmark calculator and uh, number tracking software or number tracking workbook for software as well. I don't track any individual items for Poshmark, but I do track the fees. And this was last year. Um, so me personally, I love the workbook. I think it's one of the best things I did as far as coming into keeping track of my numbers. Because before I had these notebooks and I would track everything that I did in these notebooks. Where's my like, oops, like all, all these receipts just fell out. Receipts on top of receipts, right? And then numbers for days of the whole year. The whole year, guys, I took numbers by hand. That was a nightmare. All the way down to the last page. I don't recommend anybody doing this method long term couple months maybe where you're trying to get into it and learn uh, all the fees, what you're truly making on inventory, what you truly make. Say if I bought an item for two bucks, what I'm actually making on it line by line, where all my expenses are coming from. I suggest you do that when you're getting started. But all you need to do is for a couple of months, get you some data built up and know that some items are not profitable. Some items are and just move on to something like this workbook. There is a link down below in the description if you guys want to use this workbook. Uh, you get a new one every year. Uh, all you got to do is the one-time purchase, um, and it's going to really change the game for you. So uh, now I'm getting ready to build these labels. Simple. There's a link down below for these two as well. Also, there is a video on my channel, How to Make Custom SKUs. You can search the video for more in-depth, detailed steps. But right now, what I'm going to do is just walk you guys through it real quick on the fly. We'll print some of these out and show you how easy it is and how I've been able to save. Literally, guys, I was I was doing it the the hard way. I was paying Avery to ship my to ship me labels already, and it was costing me like hundred fifty dollars for three thousand labels. Now I know that I could have Avery build. I can tell them the numbers that I need, and I can print it myself. That's still much more expensive than doing it this way so uh, i'll show you guys what i do and how i make these first step is getting on amazon ordering these ages i don't know how you pronounce that uh there you get 12 of these and there's 3,000 of these SKUs on each row you get 12 of these in a box it's like i don't know not not that expensive it's like 13 maybe maybe i don't know guys i don't really want to lie to you uh, but I've only bought two of these boxes the whole time that I've been doing it. This is the second box. And you see all the rows that were still sitting there. This is a game changer. Okay, the second part of this equation is to go to the sequential number generator. Just type that in Google, sequential number generator. The website is www.reformattext.com. Uh, and what you'll do is the starting number is going to be the number you want to start with. So my last SKU number was 24123. So my first one's going to be 24124. And the, the labels are 3,000 in a pack. So I just added 3,000 to that for 27124. Now, you don't need to change anything else in here, right? Uh, how many per line is going to be 10 per line separated by a space. This is important. If you don't separate them by a space, it's going to mess everything up. Increments of one separated by a space how many per line 10 then you generate once you generate you're going to come up with something that looks like this now what you'll do is you'll copy and paste all of these so i'm going to copy these real quick okay now that i've got all these copied what you want to do is you want to go down to the description and download the Word document. 
or custom SKU. It's called Rolo SKU number. Rolo SKU number template. Okay, now once you've downloaded this document, it's important that you do two things. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see it. It's important that you, number one, set your cursor to where it's centered. You don't want it aligned left or aligned right. You want it centered. And then you want your font, if you're using Arial, you want your font to be set at 48. If you don't set your font at the right size, you're going to have numbers that run off or more than one number on the SKU. And once you do those two things, you paste. And you see the numbers are perfectly centered, one number on each SKU. And then after that, once you've done that step, you'll change out your printer labels from the Rolo labels to these labels. Now, now all I do is go to print like it's a regular document. Print, print. It's gonna say the paper size of the item differs and whatever, whatever. I just say yes and okay. And we got labels. So that's how you do it, guys. Pretty simple. Now, I'll let that. Now, I'll let that print and roll off. And when it gets done, I roll it back up. Now, there is a tool you can buy that rolls the thing back up for you. Uh, you can order it off Amazon. I don't have one of those. I just spend like five minutes rolling it up by hand. Uh, it sucks, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to save much more time by using the tool from Amazon. Maybe a minute. So, okay, guys, I realized the error. Um, the labels don't come with 3,000 labels on it. They come with 1,200. Sorry, guys. So 1,200 labels come on one roll, and you get like 12 rolls in a box. I don't know why I said 3,000. Either way it goes, I put the measurements or I put the numbers in the computer for 3,000 labels to generate. It only printed me out 1,200. Uh, but then I just roll them up like this, and once I get it to a certain size, I can twist it on the desk like so, and it makes it roll, rolling it up a lot faster. Only thing is I do have to like tighten it, and uh, then I just go back to twisting it. Um, so I'm gonna roll these labels up, and yeah, if you guys got any questions, comments, leave it down below in the comment section. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. Catch you guys on the next one. Until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.